Hi, I've just finished Lauren Groff's new book and it comes out on the 21st of September and it's called The Vaster Wilds. I've not read any by her before. Um, Matrix has always been on a sort of wish list because I heard so many wonderful things about it. Uh, but it's what I've never yet got around to picking up. But I jumped to the chance um, when I was offered this arc. It's a bleak read. I found it a very bleak read. And there is not a lot of joy in here it, in, in it either. Um, we follow the girl, as she's referred to throughout the book. And we see her flashbacks. And flashbacks into a life that was hard and brutal. We follow her as she escapes from the fort where she was living into the wilderness. And it's only slowly do we realise, and only slowly do we realise that the fort she is escaping from is the con colony set up by those who sail to the New World to um, bring Christianity to the indigenous peoples. She's escaped from the fort, which is beset by famine and disease, thinking that she will be safer in the wilderness. What follows is a novel of survival and with flashbacks of her previous life. And yes, it's repetitive because she walks, she finds food, she builds shelter. She walks, she finds food, she builds shelter. But isn't that what survival is all about? By right. going forward one step at a time, walking one step at a time, finding food to survive, finding shelter to rest, isn't that the whole point of survival, the repetition. And also the, having the faith that you're going to survive and the strength to survive. Um, what you realise through her flashbacks, sorry, I lost my place then in all my notes. What we realise through her flashbacks as she talks about her young life, is that everything she has done up until this point has been about surviving. All her life she has had to survive, so now escaping into the wilderness is just another, another sort of set of survival techniques that she's having to come to terms with. Also through her internal monologues, as she talks to herself all the time, you get explorations of nature, of love, of death, and even God. As she's trying to make sense of the world, as she's trying to decide who she can trust, the people that she has run from or the indigenous people that she's now hiding from. There's also the examination of solitude, of being alone. She is choosing to be alone when she knows that humans need others around them to survive. And she takes us on her journey as she tests her body, as she tests her emotional spirit. At times, this is a very brutal read as well, and it is very graphic, and it is very bleak as well. But you are, you're with this girl the whole time, and you are wanting her to survive. So this comes out on the 21st of August, sorry, 21st of September, and it's the Vasta Wilds. So happy reading. Take care.